Hello dear students, how are you? I hope that you are all doing great and I hope that you are comfortable and safe in the comfort of your homes. As you all know, I am Teacher Marin and I will be presenting to you a video instruction regarding the uh, different activities in this particular topic. Now our topic is all about comparing and contrasting the same topic using different multimodal text. So hopefully you will be able to define comparison and contrast to determine uh, signal words or clues that shows comparison and contrast and use comparison and contrast in varied multimodal text. So let's go! For the first activity, you are going to do a picture analysis. Now have you all been to Magsaysay Park and People's Park? Now, the pictures below are the images of People's Park and Magsaysay Park of Davao City. You have to observe these two pictures and also recall your experiences no? and your visits in these two parks. You have to cite three differences and three similarities between these two parks. And you are going to write your answers on the space provided in your worksheets. So for the second activity, you are going to compare and contrast using a Venn diagram. Now, you have to categorize the similarities and differences between the two pictures in the activity one using a Venn diagram. You're going to uh, draw the Venn diagram in the box provided in your worksheets. Okay? For the next one is the analysis. In this part, you are going to answer the following questions on the space provided in your worksheet. So, here are the questions. In activity one, how is the two parks of Davao City presented? Second, refer to your answer in activity one. What are the words did you use when you differentiate the two pictures? Next, refer to your answer in activity one again, then answer this question. What are the words did you use when you write the similarities of the two pictures? The fourth question, in the second activity, what did you use to compare and contrast the information of the two pictures? And for the last one, do you think that the information is easier to understand when you use the diagram to categorize the similarities and differences between these pictures? And why? So you have to answer those questions. For the following pages, you will encounter significant information about comparing and contrasting, how to compare and how to contrast, and also the signal words to be used when you contrast and compare. On the next page, you'll also read significant information about multimodal text. So you have to read it so that uh, you'll have a benchmark for your, or you have a reference for your next activity. Now for our third activity, you are going to list down the Filipino culture and the Korean culture using the table. Now using this table so for your fourth activity, you are going to uh, answer a multiple type question using this link okay very good and then take a snapshot of your result and send it to and send it to me in my email okay so for the final task you will be using the information from the table table in activity 3 you are going to make an infographic for the Filipino culture and Korean culture you can use any editing tools or software to make your own infographic so, all you have to do in your output, you have to refer to the rubrics presented here, this one, and submit it to me in our Google Drive. Final submission will be on December 10, any time of that day. So, that's it. That's everything. No? That's all the activities and tasks that you are going to accomplish for this particular chapter. Thank you, and I hope that you'll stay positive and... You'll take good care of your mental health just as much you take good care of your physical health. God bless everyone.